Hello, it's Saturday today and I don't know why I'm talking to the camera because I'm not supposed to be vlogging today in my head. It's my day off from filming. But I just wanted to talk to you. The plan for today is I've got people coming over. Having a little social gathering in my front room, just a small one. AKA the Gal Pals, Isabel's little gaggle of local girlfriends and their parents, we're all friends together. So they're coming over. So I'm gonna nip out and buy some cakes or something for them in a minute. I probably won't take the camera. There's a letter come through today from the hospital for Isabel's next allergy appointment. Nothing unusual about that, except look at the year. <laughs> Flippin' heck, it's nearly 12 months away. I'm literally wondering if that's a mistake, but I don't think it is. I think she's literally got to wait a year and she hasn't had one for a few months either. So that's a big gap between appointments, isn't it? We started a new puzzle last night. I shall insert footage here of the one that I finished and then put away. This is me on Friday evening about to put my puzzle away, but I wanted to film it first. Look, proof that I finished it. But I'm on this one now. It's only a 500 piece. -er. I usually do the thousand pieces, so this is coming together very quickly indeed. Well, by my standards anyway. Sandy from the Thrifty Grandma channel was asking what was this like when it was lit. So if you didn't watch the vlog the other day, I impulsively picked up this candle that's like Vicks Vapor Rub, except in a candle. And it smells absolutely beautiful if you literally stick your nose in the jar and smell it just like that when it's not lit. Now I lit it last night just to see. Or should I say, just to smell. And... I sat here and did puzzle for about an hour, hour and a half with it lit and I couldn't really smell it. I couldn't really notice it. And you know if you've had like a scented candle or a wax melt thingy on and you come into the room having been out of the room for a while, it, you know, your nostrils get hit with a wall of smell. Hopefully pleasant. But anyway, that has not happened at all. I think that candle smells nicer when you just sniff it when it's not lit. <laughs> it reminds me, in a way, of herbal tea bags. They always smell really nice in the box but then don't, I find I don't taste much <laughs> when I drink them. They always smell better than they taste to me. That might be a personal thing. What do you think? Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly pop my shoes on and nip out to Greg's. Ugh. Loving these new shoes, by the way. They survived my trip to Barry yesterday. <laughs> they didn't get too muddy. I was trying not to go in mud, but that just didn't quite work out, that little plan. Oh, whoops. Speaking of mud, a load's just fallen off them. I think I better put them on right by the front door. It's a good job I'm about to put the hoover around, really, isn't it? It's a little bit of a tangent, but I really like wearing my hair like that, as opposed to two plaits. But the reason that I quite often wear two plaits is because I think it looks silly when I put a hat on and then there's a big bulge at the top. But then it occurred to me, I wear a cow hat. But uh, how much sillier can it get? So I'm just, I'm just gonna have a bulgy bit sticking out the top of my head. I don't care. And it's occurred to me that when I'm filming in supermarkets, I should not wear the cow hat because I keep freaking people out, the shop attendants, because they think I'm a store inspector. I thought, well, I thought it's because I was using this particular camera because it looks a bit like a stills camera. And I think they think I'm taking still photographs to report back to HQ, which obviously I'm not. So I've been using my GoPro the last few times and nobody has stopped me and questioned me. So that's been good. But then I thought, well, look, if you're wearing a flipping cow hat, you're obviously going to make people look at you, aren't you? So it's obviously not the hat of choice for the, you know, surreptitious vlogger. So there we are. But anyway, I'm not going to film Greg, so I'm just going to run down quick, get cakes, come back, clean the house and be ready. And I'm on a bit of a time limit now because I keep getting distracted with the camera. I knew this would happen. OK, I'll speak to you later. I'm back with the donuts. They're £2.20 for a pack of four. So I've got two packets of four because <laughs> I've got seven people coming around. I started hoovering a little bit before I left because of all the mud. I dropped all over the floor, but I'm going to finish that off now and just kind of pick up a load of this clutter because there's quite a lot of it. Oh, and open every window in the house, which is what I always do about half an hour before people come. And yeah, it's a bit chilly. I keep the heating on. So believe me, it's nicer than sitting freezing in the park, which is what we did for almost all the pandemic when we were allowed to. So it's comparative luxury, but I do get a bit chilly by the end. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get on and do that now. I'll tell you what, after my little brush with Corona last week, I was really glad that I had done that because at the time it can seem a bit over the top and a bit like, oh, really? Opening all the windows? Really? Is there any point? You know, you get, you get so many false alarms, but then when you do have a scare, you've had contact with someone who's been positive and you think, oh, you know, what if I've given it to all my friends, you know, in one fell swoop? Um, but anyway, no. So yeah, I'm going to carry on with my ventilation. A mad panic of cleaning and tidying later. I am now ready to receive my guests it's not perfect but it will do it's better than it was they've got somewhere nice to sit little tables ready for their cups of coffee and their donuts to go on i didn't bother with the tabletop to be honest because 
we don't sit at the table anyway. The kids always go upstairs. Uh-oh, I'm getting drawn into the puzzle. This is because I'm having an idle moment when people were due a few minutes ago and they're not here yet, and I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, look, that's the top of there. No, that is not there, Imo. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It must be. It can't be. It's there. <laughs> Oh, you could be doing more productive things with your time than this. And you know it. Where's that box? Uh-oh. Getting so drawn in. Oh, oh, I know where that bit goes. It goes by there. <laughs> I can try to do it through the monitor. <laughs> it's harder through the monitor. There we are. Ta-da! Oh, blimey, that was quick. No, it wasn't really. It's the next day now. So my friends came and we sat here, had lovely chats. The girls were all upstairs playing games and stuff. And in the evening, I had another big stint at the puzzle, which is coming on lovely. Now, it is the dreaded injection day. So that is coming to room temperature. In fact, it's been out for over an hour. Uh, I tried to suggest to Izzy we might like to get that over with now, but um, she was like, uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> so she scheduled me in for 45 minutes time. She likes to get her head around it. She doesn't like to be surprised with injections. And who can blame her, quite frankly? I wouldn't like to be surprised with an injection either, so I fully sympathise. Uh, I'm taking Isabel out to lunch, hopefully, if anywhere local is open. Uh, probably won't vlog much of it, I might get some shots of the food if somewhere is open. So we're gonna do that at about three o'clock. So I don't know, we might end up eating fast food, but I just wanna eat out with my daughter. That's the thing with this pandemic, it's really restricted the things that families can do together out of the house. And families can quite easily get into the habit in the house of just being in separate rooms and being like passing ships a bit. And certainly for us too, that does definitely happen a lot. She's just at that age where she needs to be more independent and that shows in the house dynamic. But when we go out together, it's it's kind of breaks that habit and we talk to each other like more. So I try to take her out, but it's difficult in the pandemic when you can't go anywhere unless it's just a walk and she doesn't really want to go for just a walk. So anyway, hopefully this plan will come to fruition today. I need to go and sort my kitchen out now anyway. It's a mess. I was midway through sorting the kitchen out and I thought I really should do a lateral flow because I haven't done one for ages actually. Mm, look, we've got these new ones, the ones that only go up your nose. Apparently, I've heard from loads of sources, <laughs> medical ones mostly, online, that they're not as effective as the throat ones. I hate the throat ones so much. <sighs> So I've even heard like medical people online saying if you can get the nasal swabs which are half the size of your throat then do it because you're more likely to get a more accurate result. But oh I'm so sick of almost being sick every time I do them. <laughs> I'm so tempted to just bypass the old ones and use the new ones until we run out of the new ones. Because Izzy doesn't mind the throat ones at all. I could save them for her. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh. Right then, I'll do the more effective one. Ugh. Life is going to be so great when we don't have to do all this lark anymore, innit? All this... Oh. In you go. Does anyone else find that some of these don't quite have enough liquid in? And you get to the point when you're trying to squeeze it out onto the testy thingy and it just doesn't want to come and you end up having to take the top off and literally tip it that's happened to me once or twice and ib has reported the same thing oh it's fun time i won't film the bit where i'm going <coughs> one eye watering and retching time later the time for this bit i have to put the camera down for that i think oh my goodness do you know i'm wondering if it's any different for people that don't have tonsils? Because I don't have tonsils. You see, I had them out when I was 10 because I had permanent tonsillitis as a child and missed loads of school. Oh, I haven't been timing. They're supposed to be 15 seconds. Oh, but I'll be able to count it on the clip, won't I? <laughs> I'm sure too much won't hurt. Yeah, I wonder if I'm extra sensitive because I don't have tonsils and if that's why I'm so gaggy. Does anybody have any thoughts on this in the comments section? I've got all the grease on my stove top kind of soaking at the moment. I'm just 
giving the blinds a wipe because they get very dusty you see i think i'm gonna have to climb up on something and do the top bit but the yeah i can't reach it i thought why not something i can fit in quick izzy's in the bath so i can't do her jab yet anyway i dust with a damp cloth there's a dust allergy in the house so it stops it you know flying up into the air as much catches it of somebody who's very relieved and happy because I've just done the injection. It went okay, it hurt, didn't it? Oh, it did not hurt her, but it's done. I was much more confident with it this week, so there were no hiccups or hesitancies. I was just plunged straight down, confident, and it was absolutely fine. So yes, no more of those for another fortnight till Sunday after next. I was actually, my hands are shaking by the end. But anyway, uh, done, we'll soon be used to it. It's just a shame it's so painful for her. I, it's, it's where it is, it's in the leg. It's, it's like the, the side of the leg, but up near the top, I think. That's a really sensitive area, but she doesn't want to have it in her arm because she could have it in her arm, you know, where they do the, the vaccine, but she, she don't want to try it because it's new and it might hurt, but then I think it'll be less painful. But anyway, up to Izzy. Right, we're gonna go and see if we can find somewhere to eat that's open locally, and I don't know if there will be any, but worst comes to worst, we'll just have to buy some food and cook, but hopefully we'll find something. Lat flow was negative, by the way, so lateral flow says I can go, go, go. She's just getting dressed because she came down in her pajamas after a bath to just get that over with. I'm damp dusting society bits here. I don't even know what that is, some sort of stain. Yes. I noticed that when I was hoovering, I thought, ooh, that needs doing. Ooh, yes. It is chilly. It's much later now. I've been out. Heating is going on though. Oh, has my pressure gone down again? Oh, Right, just gonna top that up, then I'll talk to you. Well, it's much later now. We've been out, we left it a bit late for the local cafes. We ended up, out of lack of choice, basically going to a fast food place and having veggie burger and chips. But we enjoyed it, we enjoyed being out together. We had lots of fun chats and I didn't film it because we were just having mother-daughter time so I didn't take the camera. But it was nice, yeah, worth doing. I have been editing since I got back and so this is kind of editing me coming back to just finish the vlog off. Thank you so, so, so much for watching it. If you did enjoy it, could you please give it a like? It really helps channels to grow, you know, and I really, really appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.